There has been a tragic shooting at the Fort Hood Army Base in Texas. We don't yet know all the details at this moment. We will share them as we get them. What we do know is that a number of American soldiers have been killed and even more have been wounded in a horrific outburst of violence. My immediate thoughts and prayers are with the wounded and with the families of the fallen. All right, folks, welcome to the Steve Malsberg Show, Guest Free Friday. That was our Commander-in-Chief yesterday. We played you those remarks yesterday, um, shortly after he made them. He made them tw 24 hours ago, almost to the moment, and we played them for you. What we didn't play for you was and didn't alert you to was the fact that because it you know was happening while I was in the we was we were in the news break and we recorded the remarks and played them right back to you as soon as we we got on um, what we didn't tell you and we didn't play for you then is that president barack obama was uh, attending a um, a White House uh, function. It was at uh, the Interior Department, and it was uh, a meeting on uh, Indian affairs. Okay? It was a scheduled event for him. He was there. Rather than come in to the room, and naturally, right, naturally, any president, any commander-in-chief, with 13 dead soldiers at Fort Hood in Texas and 31 wounded soldiers at Fort Hood in Texas, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to be somber, and you're going to say, ladies and gentlemen, what you just heard. But no, he didn't start out with that. He started out giving a shout-out, baby, to one of his buds and yucking it up because that's who Barack Hussein Obama is. Uh, let's listen to how it unfolded when he came out took to the podium, and instead of saying what you just heard, immediately, here's what he said. Please, everybody, have a seat. Uh, let, let me, first of all, just thank Ken uh, and the entire Department of the Interior staff for organizing just an extraordinary conference. Uh, I want to thank my cabinet members and senior admi administration officials who participated today. Uh, I hear that Dr. Joe Medicine Crow was around, and so I want to give a shout out to that Congressional Medal of Honor winner. Good to see you. He's giving a shout out to some guy named Dr. Joe Crow. He called him Dr. Joe Medicine. For, that he would say anything, anything before honoring. And talking about the dead soldiers and the shooting is outrageous. That he would stand there and thank this one and that one in my cabinet and good to see you. And, and uh, Dr. Joe Medicine, a shout out. I want to give him a shout out. Who is this man? Who is he? And unfortunately... He's President of the United States and Commander-in-Chief. And ladies and gentlemen, the ironic part here is that he got it wrong again. You know, give a breathalyzer to a kid who comes into the emergency room with asthma. Uh, he's been to all 57 states. You know the list. Dr. Joe Medicine, who we gave a shout-out to before talking about our dead soldiers, um, didn't win the Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, the Congressional Medal of Honor is the highest award for valor in action against an enemy force, which can be bestowed upon an individual serving in the armed uh, services of the United States, generally present, uh, presented to its recipient by the president. Okay. Uh, this guy, Crow, his name is not included on the Society's Medal of Honor recipient list. He was, however, awarded the Medal of Freedom. In August, which goes to the nation's highest, it's the nation's highest civilian honor. So our wonderful commander-in-chief, giving a shout-out to a Congressional Medal of Honor winner, 
which is militarily related, highest honor you could get, never got that honor. He got the civilian award. So how appropriate that Obama gave his shout out first and screwed it up, showing he doesn't know the difference between the Medal of Honor or the Medal of Freedom. It's all the same to him, as long as he could be up there and give his shout out. And then, folks, he didn't just give the shout out and then talk about the deaths at Fort Hood. He went on for over two and a half more minutes a total of about four minutes before he brought up the dead soldiers, the shooting at Fort Hood. What a despicable, despicable display by a commander-in-chief who says, I don't like the word victory. Brings back visions of Jap Japan surrendering to us. I don't like to talk about the word victory or use the word victory. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So it's, uh, should I be surprised by this shout-out? Should you be surprised by this shout-out? It's who Barack Hussein Obama is. 